Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th Edition Edition. Last time, we spent some scary, confusing times in a bandit's hideout of some description. But the game seemed very glitched. There were no people there. The AI here is deciding to jump through this fire where we walked through it, but... I think we're all making it out of here alive. The... Yes, the dungeon seemed to be glitched. We found an artist down there who we freed to carry on his life. And then, as for everyone else, they were all absent or otherwise not there. We did find a hidden elevator down to the Underdark, though. So we have a way to get down there that isn't just the... Um, hidden teleporter in the hag's quarters but for now i'm just heading back to the druid's grove so that we can just poke around the traders see what's going on and perhaps have some words with some of the other druids before finally committing to how we're going to stop the situation between the druids and the goblins and the tieflings it's all very complicated um i'm not even sure where i am or how i'm trying to get back i guess across this river over in our log we have this whole business about removing the parasite i don't think we're going to find the githyanki crash the druid halcyn is with the goblin camp, as is the goblin priestess. I don't know where the Grand Duke is. That's a quest that I've not ever seen any resolution to. Uh, saving the refugees, we need to go and kill the goblins, directly related to freeing the druid Halsin. And we found information implicating Karga in some kind of shadow druid cabal. We have freed this artist last session, but I don't know if we'll ever see him again. And the kids wanted us to steal the idol that is preparing the spell that is going to protect the druids related to the Karga plot. So it's all kind of getting twisted and mixed together at these ending stages. Let's try and move over here as swiftly as we can so that our vampire spawn friend does not take too much acid damage from flowing water. And what's our way back? We want to hang a right and get back over the bridge. So, I don't know if there's any actual major plot lines for us down in the Underdark. I know we can expect to find Susabark there to create some kind of fanciful weapon. Although, if we do that last, it's not like we're going to have any places to go and use that weapon in combat. But the Underdark frightens me because it's full of terrible things that are hell-bent on destruction. So, I'm going to try and resolve what's going on up here first before we see what else is going on down there. We do also have a bag of spider eggs. We can assist us in a combat if things get really gnarly. And we have a horn that will summon an ogre to help us. So we do have a few things in our back pockets. And we've made it back to the Druid's Grove in record time. So down here, there's the statue that the kids want us to steal. I'm not entirely sure how we might do that. I suspect either Darkness, Fog Cloud, or Mage Hand may be very beneficial for that. Uh, does Aaron want to buy any of our stuff from us? Are we currently rocking loads of valuables to sell? Uh, I think somebody has a backpack full of them, don't they? That's the one. Shadowheart. Are you able to sell stuff wholesale in a backpack? Yes, I'd like to see your wares. But please remember, 
You're not the only one in need. Well, I've been here many times and I haven't seen anyone else shopping here, so take that for what it's worth. So we can sell the whole bag of jewels for a grand. We'd have to go back into our inventory and start manually pulling stuff out if we wanted to do it otherwise. Is there anything we really want here, though? That's the next question. Arrow of Darkness creates a darkness surface wherever it strikes. That could be handy for trying to steal that idol down there. These are magic things we don't need. Armors we don't need. An amulet we sold to him. So we'll keep in mind that there are arrows of darkness here. But I think we'll just hold on to this for now. Sylvanus be with you. I thought I saw these tieflings storm off earlier, but apparently they're still here. There's the kids that want us to steal the druid's statue down here. And here is where this ceremony is happening. Many druids in varied trances around this, the idol of Sylvanus. We have our own idol, in fact, in our inventory somewhere. Someone has it. Uh, idol of Saloon. Some part of me wonders if we could make some kind of a swap unnoticed and see if they try and complete their ritual but fail to do so. I was also made aware that there's this door here that has varied plot behind it. Uh, I don't think it's going to involve any big fights. So I think we can probably safely go through here. Uh, I guess we'll make progress with our druid because this is a druidic circle. Oh, the kid who is in trouble whose parents wanted us to rescue them. All right, let's do some guidance. And then, Andrew, use your druidic charm to resolve this situation. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out every stranger. Uh, uh, we came in as a druid for this reason. To reject the helpless is to reject Sylvanus himself. The tree father's words. Your circle taught well. You know then that Sylvanus spoke further. The parasite must be removed for new seed to grow. Yet behold, the parasite lives. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Um, let's see. The girl is no threat. Jailing her disbalances nature. Release her. See that she stays out of trouble. A seed nobly sown renders the sweetest fruit. Be noble and set her free. Uh, I don't know why. This check has plus four from guidance, apparently. And these checks have plus one from guidance. But... Regardless, we have advantage on this check for some reason. Possibly because we are too a druid. But I guess we'll use the one with the highest roll. And when we fail, it will be because the mechanics haven't been correctly implemented. No, that'll do. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sip, sip. Tila to me. Out, thief. 
My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen would... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Taylor pierce it. Well, it's easy enough to see who's the rude one who wants to turn this into a group of shadow druids. So what are we doing down here then? Uh, Gale fancies a chat. All right. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? You definitely had lots of them, didn't you, Gale? When you were a wee boy. Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. I'm not sure that's quite how that works, but sure. We've got a lot of animals down here. Might be time for a casting of Speak With Animals. And we've got two chambers. Druid's chambers, fairly generic. Lots of chemistry stuff going on. Netty. I remember a Netty. You were supposed to possibly be able to help us with our woes. I see you. Just give me a moment. These medicatrics. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? Uh, we need healing. Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. Amen to that. Uh, so something crawled in my eye. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare, all slime, teeth, and tentacles. That's the one. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. To all right. This way. Gosh, there's so much stuff to steal, though. Head on in. And now there's secret chambers upon secret chambers. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Yeah, if you could not do that to me. That looks uncomfortable. I'll do the best I can. I'm no master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. Um, I mean, we can just wait for Halson, perhaps. First things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Looking closer. You recognize the branch, and it's no druidic cure. She's holding Kalimvor's kiss, a briar from the Dalelands, and a deadly poison. Uh, put the briar down. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So... Has anything unusual happened to you? Now that I've recognized that she has a very pointy poison stick, I would like out, please. To hell with it. Oh, good. All right. Jumping out of the way it is. Please, 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 please. Thank 
goodness. You dodge her blow, but as you regain your footing, you can see the pain in her eyes. I'm sorry. I truly am. But I can't let you go. If you transform out there, you'll kill everyone in the grove. Everyone for leagues around. Uh, we're going with medicine. We're fine, really. We have plot armor. Master Halson did say the drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. And we're going to stop the goblins, so don't kill me. All right, but on one condition. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Sure. Swear it. I swear with my fingers crossed behind my back. But thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking, studying, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. So... We sh what time frame are we speaking of? Reproduced by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flare is born. We've had three long rests. It's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Well, that's good news. Okay. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Alright, so we'll just go collect him. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. Gruesome. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They might not kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan. Thank you. We were probably going there anyway. Everything to the goal. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. All right, then. And all of this stuff is secret books that we can't steal. We have received Wyvern Poison. Deals 7d6 poison damage, halved if target succeeds a DC 15 constitution saving throw. Well, I'm just going to give that to Astarian and his bow because I assume we get the coat weapon option I'm not going to do that now obviously and if there's nothing else to pick through around here hey it's the poison cloud from the other side of this door which is in the other temple bit not that we seem to have a way through here and there's a rune of the bear, a rune of the elk, a rune of the eagle, but 
We don't have a rune. I haven't picked one of those up, have I? That's a book. Books. I'm sure there's some kind of secret or something to be found in replacing the missing rune, but not one that we will be doing right now, I don't think. Could spend ages looking for that. All right then, uh, Astarian, what's going on with you, sir? Nicely done. She actually believed you'd take the poison. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna. That's not gonna happen. Of course not, darling. The goblins will probably kill us long before that. And with that merry song in our hearts, let's go find this house in fellow. All righty. Well, it seems to be that. Finding Halsin will resolve the goblin issues over in the west, solve our own problems. Just poking around the tables, you know. Uh, possibly give us an out for fixing our eyes, as well as then maybe having Halsin overturn Korga, Karga so that we might uh, not have this place turn into a place with issues. And interestingly, there's a chest back there that doesn't qualify as stealing if we can reach it. Astarian, would you be so kind as to just hop on up here? Right, we need this person to not be reading books here. Mark Coral. Please leave. What if one of us engages this person in conversation? Will they turn around? What the tieflings want next. Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Nope, he's just going to have a one-line Marty. If this doesn't work, there's always the chance of pickpocketing a key that one presumes she has on her person. But this person can't sit and read books here forever, surely. Alright, I'm going to pause, wait for this person to turn around. We will see what's in this chest and then wrap it up for today. Okay, they turned around. Oh, okay. Lock picking impossible. I should have seen that first. But we know it's there. The real question is, do we think we could get away with taking a key from... Where is she? From this person in front of all the others? Probably not. So we'll put that on the back burner. So next time... I think the resolution here is we're going to be going west to the goblin camp. We'll probably spoil ourselves with an extra long rest first because we still have several of these conditions that we don't want to be having before we go off and go behind enemy lines. So join us next time where we'll head back to camp, get a good meal in us, check our spells and preparedness, and then head off to the goblin camp. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. The full playlist can be found linked in the description below. And if for more, can please consider please consider subscribing. Thank you ever so much. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.